Hi everybody. I have been working on this small picture um, for the last few days, but this video is not going to be about that. I am filming that one, that's going to be in a future video, but I just wanted to show you uh, something else that I worked on um, earlier this year, no, end of last year. Um, it's a mashup of a uh, a full lesson on MJS TV. So in the full lesson, there's no time lapse. It's all painted, uh, filmed from start to finish. Nothing has been left out. I'll show you all of my secrets. Um, for those of you that haven't checked out my um, online painting school, you can do so now. There's uh, a link in the description. You can also check the uh, pop out there and that will take you straight to uh, the website. So check that out. But let me show you now. Okay, so that is the background finished. I can't see any other areas that we may have missed. So what we're ready to do now is give the brush a good clean and start working on some of these detailed areas of the petals and leaves. So I think first of all, I'm gonna start up here, get this area done and then we'll move down into this part here. This, this little bit, it seems to be, I think it's sitting a little bit further back. This is in front of it. Now this is probably where the sharpest area is. Um, this set back a little bit, slightly out of focus. So we don't need to put quite so much detailing in there, but I'm gonna start first of all, just in the body of this, work out, um, out, out from that to the outside leaves. And then finally on the actual flower itself. So now moving towards that darker green. Just going to take the excess paint from that and I'm now going to start moving over to the lighter, lighter colors. Now we haven't gone hugely light which we're, we're just going to add that slightly warmer shade or sorry lighter shade okay so now lightening it's quite a, a warm yellow in some of these parts here for example there in fact because we're painting over a darker background we may need to Add some whites, which I've just done. That should help this be a bit stronger and cover the darker colors a bit better. Okay, so back to the lighter green as we start to finish this leaf.
So we're gonna continue now with the upper part here of these petals. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the Series 2, this is the size 1. It's going to give the brush a bit of a clean and we're going to start putting in little lines here that we need. So now let's have a look at the colour. They're very light. As we move down into the flower itself they become more of a green. But I think what we're going to do is try and work from the inside out. So some of the areas in here are quite dark. It's important also to get the um, thickness correct. You don't want the lines too thick or, of course, too thin. That's just not going to look right. So these areas to the left are a little bit more of a green to them. going to do is we're going to go around these areas here again just want a little more definition okay so what we're going to do now is that stigma that's on the end I believe it's called a stigma or an uh, antor or something like that so that's more of a, a yellow but I think what we can do is it has a, a slightly darker edge to it and we're going to do the what seems to be the right hand edge a little bit more like that maybe what we can do is add a small amount of yellow making sure that we get the the size of these bits right Right, that is that area finished. We're going to move over now to the petals on this side here. Going back to our series two, size two, get the uh, majority of that colour correct in there. that then comes to this point it's actually quite light before it then moves over to that green that we can see so trying to keep this paint relatively smooth one of the ways that we can help that is to just blend ever so slightly maybe just with the corner of the fan blender just enough to smooth the paint taking out any little ridges now back to that slightly darker tone again, we have this part here and it almost starts to gain a green hue. So some of the colour in here is actually fairly light and then it goes suddenly quite dark and a much richer colour. So let's do that now. 